Happy Christmas, everyone. I hope you had a lovely day yesterday. Yep, I hope you've recovered from the uh, the turkey and the mince pies and the mulled wine and all that caper. All that stuffing. <laughs> and the stuffing, yep. Yeah, and our Christmas present from Cubic was a sponsored video, so we are giving away a few codes for these. Let us know in the comments what you think. Hello everyone, welcome back to Switch Up and to a sales video from Cubic Games to announce a few of their new releases and also a couple that are on very steep discounts, Glenn. That's right, if you own one of Cubic Games' titles that are on screen currently, one of which is free to download, then you are eligible for the... Uh the prices that we will talk about in a minute. Full details can be found on Cubic's website, cubicgames.com forward slash Xmas. Alrighty then, let's start with a couple of the new releases, have a look at those and then uh, check out the rest of the sale. The first new release then is one that was on mobile, I believe. It's called My Bakery Empire. And as the title suggests, it's a life simulation game where you're trying to run your own bakery baking cakes for various customers as you would expect in a bakery yep this released yesterday christmas day as did all of the new releases that we're going to talk about there is a discounted price for the us and obviously for eu regions too and they'll be at the bottom of the screen for you now glenn you'll be glad to hear that you get to uh, dress up lizzie yep and decorate your cakes in a number of extra fancy ways good good yep i like that i think i've got to be honest this is one that my daughter would actually genuinely enjoy yeah these time resource management games that they, you know they're always uh, they're always fun and uh as you say for for a child of that sort of age they'd, they'd be well into it wouldn't they next up is that a quest in your pocket or are you just pleased to see me <laughs> <laughs> that was quite good come on <laughs> i'll give you that one did you get that out of a christmas cracker well i should have done <laughs> would have been the best cracker ever <laughs> yeah pocket quest is an rpg adventure with a few little puzzle uh, mechanics in there as well and some board game elements it looks to be a match-free puzzler essentially um with the pocket quest title mm. interestingly it does have some rpg mechanics in that you have a backpack with various items in it uh, and i believe your battles take place on that match free stage yeah it's, it's an age-old formula that and i actually really enjoy match freeze yeah I, I do like this sort of uh style um puzzle quest is another mm. one isn't it that I've, I've played in the past that has a very sim similar way of playing on the match free with you know you're pitted against someone and you have that you know slight rpg element to it too and this is another one obviously that that cell applies to and again it will be at the bottom of the screen if you're interested in picking this one up the third new release is light it up which is an action arcade platformer featuring one of those weird little stick men but in neon colors bouncing around on various different platforms there are 150 different levels this is one of those classic little loading games yeah pick it yeah. up bust out a few stages and then uh, you know choose the game that you actually want to spend that chunk of time on you know yeah yeah it has that that wireframe look to it doesn't it almost reminds me of some of the bit trip games um in terms of that aesthetic which i really do enjoy actually i do i love anything wireframe it reminds me of like the old uh, star wars arcade game from way way back in the day you know the fourth and final new release is a little game called Space Papers Planets Border, where according to the blurb, you have to become the best police officer of the Intergalactic Patrol, watching over the planet's border and protecting the galaxy. Now on paper that sounds nice. Um, the mechanics by the looks of it actually sound quite interesting. It reminds me, just from reading the blurb, we'll go through a bit of it in a minute, of like Papers, Please. Yeah, exactly. Do you know that game? Yeah. Uh, where you have to check documents of people traveling, see if there are any, obviously, any fake documents, any that you do find where the documents aren't correct, you have to send those people home, and you'll have a daily target of amount of people that you need to get through correctly, obviously, to, to move on and advance through the game. There are different upgrades you can make, like you can upgrade your machines to make it faster to scan people as they come through. I'm guessing there's a bit of a time management element to it, and there are a number of different objectives per stage. Yeah, this one actually i find quite interesting that these games can be quite addictive mm. you know that you you kind of start playing them before you know it, you've lost a nice chunk of time on them and you said that the art style reminds you a bit of futurama which it does I, yeah i don't what i've not really watched the show but i get what you mean from seeing the screenshots for sure except there's no bender <laughs> All right, let's have a look at some of the sale games then. We've picked out some of the cheapest ones we can possibly find, little loading games that you can play for five minutes or with a couple of friends if they have co-op, and we'll let you know all about that. First one is one we have spoken about before. It's called Zombie Defense Commando Edition. You've got to build up and defend your fault against a load of zombies that are attacking it from a top-down, like a 3D isometric perspective. This edition includes the base Zombie Defense game as well as the quad rocket launcher and extra weapon. And there are a number of different skins and unique items for you to find along the way including different weapons turrets and characters yep as i mentioned before prices will be at the bottom of the screen as you are watching this if you are interested in any of these games those are the sale prices as per this moment if you do own one of those games that were listed at the beginning of the video
video. The next one then is Farmland, and this is the Kitty Edition. Yeah, you've got the base Farmland game, except uh, as the title suggests, this time around you get a little cat that follows you around. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> yeah, there are uh, 250 uh, extra gems for you to unlock as well. There's a number of different skins. It's a simplistic little farming sim that's very fast paced, almost like an arcade farming sim, you know? Absolutely. and. One more to look at is Z Escape Complete Edition. So this includes the base Z Escape game and a few different bundles or DLC packs, including balloons and guns, fire and choppers, and lasers and choppers. In total, that will give you six new weapons, six new weapon sites, six new helicopter skins, as well as a bunch of different skins for zombies, survivors, and helicopters. You basically have to rescue as many survivors as you can whilst killing all of the zombies. You've got Tricky Taps, the complete edition. Now, Tricky Taps looks to be a physics-based platformer that sees you guiding a ball around an obstacle course. There are a number of different hazards to try and avoid. It's a classic little time killer. Put it on for five to 10 minutes again. You know, a little loading game before you decide what to play. There are 150 different levels. There's all different types of obstacles. That is Tricky Taps, the complete edition. Yeah, these sort of games always remind me of uh, Marble Madness, mm. albeit it's a different viewpoint. That was isometric, but any game like that. That was a good game. Yeah, for sure. You also have Whole IO Red Planet Edition is on sale. This includes a new Mars map as well as a number of different skins. And this is a game we've mentioned a couple of times, haven't we, where you have to basically, you know, consume everything. You're, you play as a black hole and you have to eat everything within the level, almost like Katamari Damacy, but in reverse, you know? Yeah, if you've got a group, then this one actually is, uh, you know, a fun little play. Uh, not always a black hole, sometimes a rainbow hole. Oh yeah, I but, forgot uh, about that. Yeah. Having it on the Mars planet um, instantly gets more points from me because uh, I'm an absolute space so yeah not too shabby that one's got one to four local multiplayer in split screen as well the complete edition of astro miner is also on a discount at the moment this is one to four players again you have to fly to different planets mine up all of the resources hover everything up um, and then try and store it there are 12 bonus levels 12 different underground mines that you can explore and four new vehicles as I said, you can play it through in co-op mode and spend your cashish buying various different upgrades. Okay, so there are some of their discounts. You can see some other ones on the screen right now and we'll pop a link to the website so you can go check those out in more detail if you'd like. A big thanks to Cubic for sponsoring us over all of these years. It is really beneficial, especially around this time of year. So do go and check out that sale. Absolutely. Don't forget if you are looking for eShop credit to pick any of these games up, get yourself almost a, you know an extra saving if you like. You can get your eShop cards via our website, switch up GG, you'll get yourself 5% back in cash back and you get an extra 5% if you use the code switch up and just once more we hope you've had a, a lovely Christmas we've got a couple more videos coming out before the year is done but just in case you don't watch those let's hope you have a, a happy new year too thanks to our Patreons and our members and all of you that enjoy the content for all things switch all the time keep it switch up cheers guys see ya